Hi, it's Mark Skousen with Money Show TV, and I'm here with John Buckingham, who's the editor of The Prudent Speculator. And uh, you and I both knew uh, the founder of The Prudent Speculator, Al Frank, passed away, what, 16 years ago. But the ghost of Al Frank is still with us here at The Money Show, because you're coming on a regular basis. And tell me, uh, why was he such an important figure in your own life? And, um, and then the second question is, to what extent have you simply followed his formula or have you made a few changes in the uh, sure. Prudent Speculator? Because you've been very successful. Sure, thank you. Well, Al was obviously my, my mentor in this business. Like a lot of investors, I had, uh, when I was young, I had a get rich quick mentality, you know, go to Las Vegas and hope to strike it rich or trade in the options market, you know, hope to turn a thousand into a hundred thousand and all that kind of a mindset. So what Al taught me was that, you know, the secret to investing is to have a long-term time horizon and to let that miracle of compounding really work for you. So you don't have to get rich overnight. You know, our newsletter, we've had a phenomenal long-term return and right. you compound those dollars over time and the wealth that can be created in that environment is astounding. So Al taught me to be patient, um, taught me to, that value investing is the way to go, buy things that are on sale. It's the way we live our life, but most investors would rather buy the hot stock instead of the discounted stock. And so you kind of do things that other people aren't doing. And so it's worked very well. So what have I changed? So I, I worked with Al side by side since 1990. So I had you know 12 years of, of being the director of research, the chief portfolio manager. So nothing really changed per se. The only thing I would state though is that technology has evolved. So our ability to track stocks and to use our quant our quant models and so forth has expanded exponentially. So we follow about 3,000 companies with a proprietary quant model to help us screen down for those stocks that we think are the most attractively valued and then apply qualitative research and additional quantitative tools to get to the stocks that we ultimately will put in our portfolio. So same basic concept yeah. Al had with pencil and paper, but now we have modern technology to do it. You don't really worry about beating the market every year or anything, because I understand long term you have beat the market pretty substantially. You don't use leverage, right? Or no, you do? No. no leverage. You're a no-load fund, or you well, yeah, we have a mutual fund that's a no-load fund. But you know, we're we're focused on the long-term mark. We're looking out three to five years, and yeah. and it's impossible to beat the market every year. Warren Buffett hasn't beaten the market every year, right. and those who claim that they have are either lying or they're using a you know a one-year or two-year time horizon right. and say right. every year in our history we've yes. beaten it. But we've been at it for 41 years in the newsletter, and believe it or not, we've never missed, we have zero times that we've missed a market downturn. We've caught them all. And yet we have a fantastic <laughs> long-term time you know, track record. If you look at Holbert rankings, you know, our returns, according to him, or since inception of the publication, are about 15% a year versus 11% for the market. And very That's few big people difference. even come close to beating the market. So yeah. the strategy has worked, but you have to deal with the ups and downs. And do you find that uh, investors stay with you during the down market, or did you find the same thing that Peter Lynch did with the Magellan Fund, where a lot of the investors, the shareholders, actually didn't do that well because they kept trying to time the market? Right, that's unfortunate in the mutual fund world, where you don't have the kind of contact, if you will, as you do in a money management environment. Yeah. So yes, most of our clients stuck with us during the That's ups good, and downs, yeah. but we feel we've really educated them via the newsletter in advance, so they know what to expect. When they don't see Amazon in their portfolio, they're not surprised. And when the markets go down and we haven't gotten them out, they shouldn't be surprised either, because we've made, made no claim that we have any ability to time the market. You know, the only problem with yeah. market timing is getting the timing right, and very few people you know, get it right more than once in their career. Right. Well, John, it's been a pleasure having you on the Money Show TV. This is Mark Skousen. Thanks for watching.